Janet, our next question comes from Amy from my hometown in El Dorado. Yeah. Amy is 60 and looking to retire soon. She says she has about $500,000 saved for retirement. Recently, she says that she has heard a lot of good and bad about annuities. She says, I don't know what to believe. What's your opinion and how does this fit into a retirement plan? John, Amy, I'm, John, do you have an opinion on I, this? I have lots of opinions. <laughs> <laughs> So let's just kind of walk through some basic fundamentals. If you need to drive a nail into the wall, you don't use a wrench, you use a hammer. And, and certainly you're going to mess up the wrench or you're going to mess up the wall if you use the yeah. wrench. Yeah. But a lot of people think that annuities are the Swiss Army knife of investment vehicles. They'll do this, they'll do that, da 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 and uh, that's not true. Also, there are a lot of people who think annuities were created by the devil and that you should never even utter the word annuity, much less put any of your money into it. And that's not true either. Just like everything else in life, there is a balance. Here is how an annuity is supposed to work and how the best use of an annuity can come into play. It is to provide guaranteed income to you in retirement. So the question is, do you need additional guaranteed income? Janet, we just were talking about Ronnie and Little Rock yeah. having a, 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 a need to secure guaranteed income. If all Ronnie has is Social Security for he and his wife, then that's likely not to meet their needs in retirement. And so they may want to take a portion of their retirement savings, mm -hmm. put it to an annuity to do the job of providing guaranteed lifetime income throughout their retirement years. I think I'll, I'll underscore what you were saying to Amy about, you know, there, there are sides that love annuities in all situations and there are sides that hate them in all situations. And I'll go to the teacher perspective. You know, when you're, when you're doing, when you're taking a test on any topic and you get to a true false section, you look for some, some words that just kind of tip their hand about whether it's going to be a true or false statement. If you see the word always, it's probably false. Yep. If you see the word never, it's probably false because there are probably some situations where that statement is not accurate. The same is true if you were to take a if you were to take a true false state uh, test on annuities and said they are always a good answer, that's false. They are never a good answer. That's false. Right. There are situations where they are not only a good fit, but the best fit. And then there are situations where you don't need one at all. So it really is very individualized. But I will say it is the only source that you can get for guaranteed retirement income to supplement something like your Social Security. Your Social Security is going to come to you on a guaranteed basis. And an annuity also has the ability to provide that guaranteed stream of income. So if, let's put some numbers to this, if you say I have to have five thousand dollars a month john for food shelter clothing transportation just to meet those needs if that's what you have to have and between amy between you and your spouse you have four thousand dollars a month coming in from social security and or pension income then you've got a gap you've got four thousand coming in and you need five thousand so we have to go to something that we know is going to provide you that income regardless of what your investments do otherwise but if you it, let's flip that let's say that you needed to have three thousand dollars a month coming in on a guaranteed basis and you have four thousand in that case you don't have a need for additional guaranteed income it really is that simple to get to the the question the answer to the question of do i need to consider an annuity but then beyond that, it's the details of now what type of annuity, what is important in that. And that's where you really need to consult with an advisor who knows how those work. And Janet, the, uh, just to kind of break down some mechanics of an annuity, it is placed with an insurance company. And in the, in the iterations that we use here at GenWealth, we are using the insurance company and they are taking that money and investing it, and you own those investments inside that. So it acts a lot like mutual funds and things of that nature inside the annuity. But the real caveat of the annuity, the benefit of the annuity from the insurance company standpoint, is they are providing you a guarantee that says, you know what, 
if you draw money out of this at a regular pace and the market goes down and you deplete your assets over the course of your life and potentially your spouse's life, then we're going to continue to pay you that income. It is essentially just like insuring that paycheck that is coming into you from the insurance company. It is very analogous to insuring your well-paid-for home with homeowner's insurance. No one would cancel their homeowner's insurance just because they have a paid-for home because they don't want the economic risk of having to replace that if a tornado comes through or it burns down or whatever the case may be. Same thing with your paycheck. You don't want to risk losing that paycheck, and so there's a small fee that is charged inside that annuity for that insurance company to take on that risk, and they use that fee to actually buffer that risk against uh, things in the market that could take that portfolio down.